What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy Half. And your girl Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. All right, y'all. So we back once again for some more reactions for y'all. Hope everybody out there enjoying their day. Evening or nighttime, whichever one that may be, mm -hmm. by the time y'all get this video. Yes. You yes, feel me? Mm -hmm. All right, so, you ready for some more reactions? Yes, I'm ready. All right. I like your braids too, by the way. You Thank did. you. All right, so let them know who we're going to react to today. We are reacting to 47 years of Joe Biden's racist comments. 47, damn, 47 years? That's what it said. Damn. Racist comments, huh? I'm interested to hear this one. Let's jump right into it. But before we do, everybody that's out there who has not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Turn your post notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. Yes. And comment down below, baby. Down below. Come and join the squad, man, half and Jay. Come on. We already kicking off. What? what? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. Good vibes. Good vibes. Boom. Boom. Are you going to I apologize? Think, guys, like, apologize for what? Corker's called for it. Corker should do. apologize. He knows better. There's not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. It's a point. I'm not, I'm not joking. The world is different. There's too much unfinished business for us to just look backwards. We have to look to the future. I know Joe. We know Joe. But most importantly, Joe knows us. That's right. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Even. Did he say what I thought he just said? I don't know. Did he intertwine that with roaches? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again and look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap and I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Even call centers, even call centers which rushed overseas in the hundreds of thousands. How many times you get the call? I'd like to talk to you about your credit card. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. They're going to put y'all back in chains. In my opinion, we don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. The Democratic Party is diverse and it should be reflected as so in our leadership. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black, this why does this happen? I'm not going to do this. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're going to vote for me or Trump, then you not black. I don't think sometimes people really understand what they be saying sometimes, I don't think. I think they just be talking sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's diverse, and it should be reflected as so in our leadership. If I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, this, this, why does this happen? I'm not going to do this. What, I'm not going to do this. Because, Chuck, I'm not going to do this, because let me just be really clear. Vice President Biden absolutely has a respect level for all people around him, for voters across this country, young people, uh, older voters, voters of color, black people, Latino voters, indigenous, Asian American Pacific Islander. So I'm not going to even uh, traffic in any hypothetical conversation about if he is sensitive enough. In my opinion, we don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, 
and you ain't black. I think Joe Biden might be suffering from that same white entitlement and privilege and ego where he's just that, that old school white male who feels like, hey, man, they need me. I don't need them. Or I got them all right. Joe Biden is under fire this evening on comments he made about working alongside segregationist senators in the past. Biden recalling his early Senate career, bringing up two segregationist senators, Herman Talmadge and James Eastland, who called African Americans an inferior race. I was in a caucus with James O. Eastland, Biden said. He never called me boy. He always called me son. At least there was some civility. We got things done. We didn't agree on much of anything. We got things done. I think the two-party system, although my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this, I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black in the South. Um, and uh, uh, other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. <laughs> it's that, that old school white male. They're going to put y'all back in chains. The new injury gave them parents being allowed for a really just a quota system to assure a certain number of blacks for condos or whatever in each school. That to me is the most racist concept you can come up with. What it says is, in order for your child with curly black hair, brown eyes, and dark skin to be able to learn anything, you need to see a mix of my blonde hair and blue eyes. Huh? That's crazy. Wow. So, can is. Can we screenshot this for everybody to read or? Everybody read with it right now? Mm-hmm. They, they reading it. Okay. They reading it. That's why I, have to, that's why I paused it like that. Okay. So can, you know what I'm saying? Everybody read that? Okay. That's crazy. They're going to put y'all back in chains. 30 seconds or less, what kind of a chance would a Northeastern liberal like Joe Biden stand uh, in the South if you were running in Democratic primaries against Southerners like Mark Warner and uh, John Edwards? Better than anybody else. Now, you don't know my state. My state was a slave state. My state is a border state. My state is the eighth largest black population in the country. My state is anything from a Northeast liberal state. It's that, that old school white male. Choosing Joe to be my vice president was one of the best decisions I ever made. Not the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. My son is Attorney General a year in a row. He was saying that about Obama? Wow. Came back, and that's one of the things that he finds is was most in need when he was over there in Iraq for a year. People would come to him and talk about what was happening at home in terms of foreclosures, in terms of bad loans that were being. I mean, these Shylocks who took advantage of uh, of these women and men. Get back from Mumbai to go meet with President Xi in China. I stopped in Singapore to meet with a guy named Lee Kuan Yew who most foreign policy experts around the world say is the most, the wisest man in the Orient. There's not a racist bone in my body. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Yeah, Joe Biden really is that ignorant, and that is only the Democrats want you to stand there. Lying, 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 lying. So... Do you think that he's just that age to where those type of words are still just embedded? For example, you remember that story I was telling you about my old um, owner that I used to work for down there at the, at the dealership? Mm -hmm. Remember the little story I told you? And I told you guys how there was some customers over there across the street in the used car lot. Mm -hmm. They were black. I was on the new car side. The owner was coming across to the new car side as I was going across the street to the used car side. Mm -hmm. He stopped me and was like, hey, uh, you know, there's some couple people over here that need some, some help. Mm -hmm. Me personally, mm -hmm. it shocked me when he said it. I never heard him speak that way before. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. 
I felt some type of way at first, but I'm like, eh, I, don't, I, think, I don't think he really meant nobody, nothing by it. Right. You know, because like I said, he was a very cool owner. He never, I never got nothing racist from him mm -hmm. at all the whole seven years I was working there with him. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just looked past that, mm -hmm. right? Never, nothing ever came up about him being racist or nothing like that. So in this case, do you think that he's kind of like what, like him, just like that age group to where, he don't really mean nothing by it, but he's just saying it because that's the way he, his era was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that makes sense, or do you really think that, you know, he may, you know, be a little racist? You ain't got to answer that question. I know that's kind of, you know, you ain't got to answer that, but, but do you think, like, he's just kind of, like, just talking, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, not really meaning nothing by it, kind of like my owner did, in a sense. Possibly. Possibly, I don't. Yeah. You know, I don't know him personally, right, so I right. can't, can't really answer that. Really yeah. speak on it. Right, 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 right. But he, he, he did make a comment that about locking, locking, um, locking somebody up in chains. Yeah. I don't know who he was talking right, right, to. Right, 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 right. So right. I don't know. Right. But people are so quick to call Trump racist. You know what I'm saying? Right. And exclude everything Joe has said. Right. You know? Right. So. For me, I was the roaches part with the kids and the pool and the hair. And I'm trying to figure out how you put those two together, though. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Y'all let us know what y'all thought about it, man. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and judge somebody that I don't know, never spoke with, never had a conversation with. Don't know nothing about him's background, anything. So I'm not gonna sit here and judge a man based off of me not knowing him, but right. um, based off what we've seen, you can kind of make your own assumption and um, go with that. You know. Yeah. So uh, y'all let us know what y'all thought about it though. Comment down below, I and uh, y'all let us know. What? You see, you see what's <laughs> going on here, y'all, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, he, 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 oh okay? he got hurt? Let me see. Come here. Let me see. Come over here. <laughs> let me see. Let's, let's show the people. Come on. Let's show the people what happened. Show them your hurt. Show them your leg. Where it hurt <laughs> Guys, at? at right there. Y'all see that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me kiss you. Let me kiss you for you. Let me kiss you. <laughs> you okay now? Huh? You okay now? Okay. All right, y'all. So, with that being said, you want to get into your shout outs? Yes. Give some shout out. Okay, first shout out goes to B Kane. What's up, B Kane? B Kane. Say what's up, B Kane. Say what's up, B Kane. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, B Kane, man? Shout out to you. Hope you definitely enjoyed that reaction, man. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about it. Yes. And hope you come back and join us for some come more back. reactions. Yes. Second shout out goes to Stella Star. What's up, Stella Star? Stella Star, what's going on with you, man? Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Say say hi, Stella. Say hi. Say you hi, gonna say Stella. hi to Stella, big head? You, go, you just gonna show your tongue? Hi. You gonna show your tongue? Okay, show hi. your tongue then. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say what's up, Stella? Say hi. Say what's up, Stella? There you go. Mm. Shout out to you, Stella, man. Uh, hope you enjoyed that reaction. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. Comment down below. Yes. And hope you guys come back and join us for some yes, more. Yes, come back, please. You know what I'm saying? Please. We out this thing? We out this thing. All right, y'all. So, but before we get about this thing, like we always tell y'all, Make sure you go out your way. To have yourself a marvelous day. A marvelous day. You feel me? <laughs> and we'll catch y'all in the next reaction video. Yes. Peace. peace. Say peace. You got to do like this. Say yeah. peace. Peace. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs>